Once we've loaded in, boom, loyal customer. And what's going on everybody? It's your boy Rishraf back at it with another video. As you guys just saw, that is the multiple rank UI system and it displays two groups. I'll even show you guys how to do multiple groups. So let's get right into it. So what we're gonna need to do is first we gotta use the UI as you guys just saw. So it's like a, a 3D text UI. So I have that available. It's in the link below. It's in the description. Go ahead and download it, import it in. Well, you don't really download it. It's just like in the Roblox already. So I have mine. Let me grab it real quick. All right. So once you guys go into the toolbox and you go ahead and grab that, it's going to be called group rank. I just call it group rank. I mean, it was just the most easiest thing to memorize. So I know we're not really used to doing this, but go ahead and put that in the server script service. I'm going to show you guys what to do. So it's just one super simple script here and just insert a script right here. And then very important here, drag this group rank UI. Otherwise it's not going to work into the script like, like this. And then it should go like, so it should be under there. And then I'll just rename the script multiple rank UI giver, something like that. I don't know. I'm um, sorry if my voice sounds a little different right now. And sorry if you can hear the rain, um, the rain mixed with everything. My voice just like, like my throat's been really messed up and, and the, I'm sorry if you can hear the gutters outside, got to clean those, but too busy coding. So going to have four variables. So if you guys, I'm going to teach you guys like from scratch. So we got local players as usual. So we have game. So this is how we get the players that we're going to need for the actual game or for the actual UI to go on to. And then we're going to say local GUI. We'll just do capital G here, equals script. So this is how you're going to know if you did it right. So you need to say script dot, and then you should have all these stuff right here, but say type in G. Group rank should pop up. You just press enter, boom. If that does not pop up, don't even bother coding the rest. It's not even going to work. Watch the beginning of the video, so that way you guys know what to do. After that, you're going to say local group ID. Okay, so we have local group ID once. So we have the first group ID here. And once we do that, we're going to put like some numbers right here. So don't worry about those numbers. We got to get the second group. So I actually, this is the same code from my other video. I'll put a link in the description below. I already have a video on this. It's the multiple group rank UI like display. And you guys have just requested it for multiple groups. So here I am doing multiple groups. So I'll go over how to find the group ID after I'm done with this script. So we're going to say players dot player added. I mean, if you guys are regulars here on the channel, you already know, we're going to say function player. Like I've been on YouTube lately and I've been looking at like a lot of the YouTubers who do coding and it's like, they're great. I mean, a shout out to them, but it's like, I wish I had Rishraf to teach me how to code. And that's, that's the reason for the channel. That's the motivator not to make money, not to do all this bunch of stuff, but it's purely to educate you guys and teach you guys logic based programming. So we're going to say chair or car, whatever you guys want to call it. It's actually character. So care, I guess, but we're going to have two functions here. So it's a function within a function. So when the player is added and then when their character is added, we're going to say their character dot humanoid. And this is not going to autocomplete. I'm going to say display distance type. Make sure your guys' case matches mine to the T. Because otherwise, other than that, it's not going to work. Then you're going to say enum.humanoid display. Now, this is a little advanced. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Distance type. And then once you have, make sure you guys use the distance type. And then send this to none. This, this allows us to allow the player to hold this ui over their head this is basically what we're doing here so i can't really go into much detail on this line eight because it's really just something that you have to get through experience if you know what i'm saying it's more like you just gotta know it i can't really teach that it's it's just changing the built-in display render distance so that way we can see the ui so you're like well rishraf i know what to do here say ui.parent equals my player's head right well, it's a little more complicated than that. So we got to call it local cloned UI equals. And if you guys watched the previous video, it's basically the same code. I just copy and pasted it literally and modified it. GUI. So make sure this pops up. Clone. 
So no, you're actually not just going to set the parent because if you were to, since it's server base, if you were to just set the group rank parent to the player, the first player who joins the game is going to get this UI, but then all the players that come in after that are not going to be able to get this UI in there system because one player has already taken it so you have to make a clone every time so when we get this clone we're going to say cloned ui and you guessed it dot parent equals character dot head so that's the player's head i mean you could put it on the torso but that wouldn't i mean that wouldn't do anything so then you do cloned ui dot namey i just call it namey not name because i mean why not you know dot text equals player Dot name. So this displays the player's name. As you can tell, we have the namey and then we have the rank. Here are some if statements and then we're all done. So we just kind of do these like three if statements and then that's it. So uh, we'll skip a line here so you guys can understand a little bit better. Um, actually, no, we'll do it how it's like tucked in, how it should be. So we'll say if player. Now the conditions are very simple. It's very simple. So we'll say if player is in group. Okay, so we're gonna say group ID one. Okay, so if they're in the first group and they're in the second group, so we have to, this is a built in function. So you have to do is in group. So as you can see, my studio already knows what I wanna do. It knows, look at this, it knows the function, it knows everything. So you have to do is in group and it's a like group ID two, right? So this allows the UI to be very smooth because I'm not just giving you guys code for it to work. I'm giving it to you guys. So it's kind of like game ready here. So you know what you're doing. So it looks smooth. And so you guys have a reliable source of code. And now we're just going to say cloned UI dot rank that should autocomplete dot text equals. Now here we're going to have to do the two. We have to combine strings and groups. So what we have to do is here. Parenthesis. I just put a parenthesis so it looks a lot better. And we're say the player. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to just put them in the comments and I'll get back. I got those notifications on. And we'll say get role in group. And then put group ID one here. All right. You don't have to keep typing it all out though. And then put dot dot. So I'm going to go over this guys. Don't worry. And then this is like the little mod. This is like the little separator, not the modifier. This is like the the separator so that way you can tell like the difference between the the groups and then just put dot dot and then say player get role in group and you guessed it we're gonna do the second one group id2 and that's basically that and then we'll skip a line here and then what we have to do is actually go back to the 13th line press enter and then we have to do an else if so we'll do else if and then don't worry i'll review the code right now so we'll say player is in group. So what the first line, what line 12 is doing here is it's saying if the player's in the first group and the player's in the second group, it's that easy. Don't worry about all the colors of the code, all the player, all the, the colons, the ands, the everything, the functions, don't worry about that. This is what it means. Player is in group, the first group. So it's basically English. Is the player in the first group? Yes. Is the player in the second group? Okay. If so, then combine them and say that, okay, we're in this group and this group, but else. So if we're not the first one, if we're just in the first group here, if we're just in the first group, then all we need to do is simply just put how my last video was just put their group rank. So this way it works if they're in both groups or just in one of the groups. And of course, if they're not in any of the groups, it's not even going to show up. It's not even going to bother, right? So you could actually do an if like up here, like maybe between lines, like uh, I would just do like seven or maybe even six when the player's added to even do a group check to even give them the UI. Um, that would have worked better as well. Uh, now that I'm actually thinking about it so that you don't waste um, like, you don't waste bandwidth and all that stuff trying to give them a UI they're not even going to use. So just do the get rule in group and we don't really need to check if they have the ui i guess you should um when the player's added but this is just a demo script like you guys should definitely not production ready to the t definitely do your own dd and due diligence to make sure that it's game ready and then all we have to do i'll skip some lines here so that you guys can definitely see what's going on here and we'll say else if don't worry about that red line under the end uh, we haven't really finished yet and then basically the same thing here Group ID two, 
then clone UI dot rank text equals player get role in group group by D2. That easy. And that's it. So let's go over it. Let's go over what we got. We got the players. We got the UI. We got the first group. We got the second group. So if you want to do the third group, literally just do group ID two. And I wouldn't recommend this unless you actually know what you're doing. Otherwise you're going to break the script and then just add another and here and then do and third group. And then what you want to do, I mean, I wouldn't advise it because it's not even going to look good or even like make sense to even do it. But I mean, if you guys want to do it, you can do it. And then just do this one again after this one. And then, I mean, you guys can just follow along. I mean, you guys are really smart. I mean, most of the guys I talk to, like, that watch my channel, like, you guys are very smart. So once we do that, we have the cloned UI. We're just going to clone the UI. Ignore these functions. I mean, this is just when the player and the character is added. So the game knows what's going on. Change the distance type. Clone. Give it to the player's head. Player's name, obviously, is player's name. I mean, that's common sense. And then if they're in the group, if they're in the group, then display both. If they're in the first group, then do that. If they're in the second group, then display second group. I mean, it's pretty easy. So I'm going to go and play it. And guess what? Nothing is going to happen. Why is nothing going to happen? It just says rank. Because the only reason it says rank is because the actual like thing, the text UI is already set to rank. So just change that. It's not going to work. Why is it not going to work? Well, because... I'm not in group zero, zero, zero. I mean, those are, I don't even think those are groups because those are just nil values. So if you guys want to find the group rank, I'll show you guys right now. I'm here on the browser here. And if you go up here, you'll see the link right here. And it's like Roblox, like groups. And then this is the half price clothing. This is my old group. I'm um, just using it for test purposes, obviously. I mean, you guys can check out some of the stuff. I mean, you go to the store here. Got some pretty nice clothing here. But what we're going to do here is we need this, this right here. 36169. This is all we need, this ID right here. So we're gonna go back in the studio and we'll put that ID here. So it was 361968. So 6968. And then for the second group, we're just gonna use another dummy group that I had. It's 751. And I showed you guys already how to find it. So 6254. If you're not getting any errors, the issue is that you messed up your group rank ID. It should only be numbers, by the way. And it should only be like these digits or um, one less digit. I remember it. Like th those are for like OG groups. So now we're going to press play. Once we've loaded in, boom, loyal customer. And I'm going to go back into the browser. As you guys can see, my rank is loyal customer. I go back into studio here and you have loyal customer. And then for my other group, I'm the founder of it because I own the group. And it's that easy. We got the loyal customer. We also got the founder two group rank UIs here, and this is how it's done. Rishraf over and out. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe. Have a great day.